June says, Project Fear will fail again. Afwa? Jo, just to pick up on Afwa's point about social factors, I think when we're looking at preventable illnesses, often there's an emotional reason behind it. Like she said, a quarter of people in this country aren't just greedy. And I think what we actually need to do... Do you think I've been... Need to, I, need, I think we need to intervene earlier. I think where we've been perhaps becoming obese, that's where the school needs to intervene. We need to educate parents. There's lots of things that we can do earlier to make sure that we save money in the future. And I have a clip that I'd like us to uh, look at, which is Joanne Keeling. Uh, and this is a woman who's a former patient at the Rotherham Institute for Obesity. Five, ten minutes, and that was it. And that, what that, is it? Slightly different under man, Matt Hancock, either because of his job before oh, and right. his... Does he actually he knows all the leading... Yeah, you know, anyway, sorry, I have box. to interrupt <laughs> because it's me now. You know, we have been talking about Brexit, which brings me on to Brexit some more. It's a new year with new possibilities, but one thing hasn't changed. Brexit is still a shambles. In fact, if anything has changed, as the clock ticks to March 29th, things have gotten worse, with Theresa May in a Russian roulette with the country's future. The Prime Minister is attempting to force Parliament to acquiesce, even though her overtures to the EU for extra assurances in time for next week's meaningful vote have proved futile. Still, with all this, she hasn't offered any alternative options to her deal. Her message is clear. It's either her deal or no deal. This hand for Mrs May, as masterfully demonstrated by Yvette Cooper and Dominic Greaves' amendments this week. Last week, Channel 4 aired its dramatisation of the referendum campaign. Obviously, I lost interest when I learned that neither Naomi Harris or Michaela Cole had been cast as, <laughs> as the drama depicted. Just as the doomsday threats failed for the Remain campaign, they will fail for Mrs May. A new mantra that I'm going to be repeating oh, week God. in week. Um, cohesion, courage and competence. Trainers and Brexiteers. Yeah, collect. Okay. That's the fair thing, because no one's failing, and I do not think in any way... Look, two seconds now, bring you in. Just to come back on your point in terms of the cohesion part. Well, I think she tried that, but making sure that the people that were the outward-facing um, representatives of the government want to be united with the Remainers in the Cabinet. So I think she tried that. In terms of what was the second one? I think she's been courageous. She's been wrong, but she's been courageous. She and then there's the other EU and then the second one. Competence. Competence. Again, the Brexiteers were in charge of trying to deliver a Brexit package and they all jumped ship. Well, what else? I, unified yeah. way. It's, it's, not, it's a war within the I where, said not where? in the same way. I didn't no, say the same way. We all know his party. One <laughs> possible. <laughs> 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 By how much she loses. No. Carol at our Christmas dinner, and it's not often that I agree with Carol Malone, but she said, as a Brexiteer, and we know that is what she definitely is, a deal, or remain, she'll keep with what we've got. What that's what Carol Malone is. With the permission, with yours, if you have no precedent, that's one thing. If you then seek legal advice from your clerks, and it is reported... You ball out one of your clerks. It is reported, yeah. or certainly you. We know you ignore all the advice, yeah. Yeah. so you freelance it. Yeah. We don't that know man that is no longer. Hasn't been published, has no, no, no. It, it looks well, pretty nice. Chris Bin well, the Conservative he? MP. Doesn't have a role Speaker, in the speaker. Speaker has done. Which is what's happening in the first place. Oh, Jesus, you're saying you know you're hot. I know I'm a decent person. You know in your heart. You know he's so convinced. Actually, the legislature has more votes than the executive. That's the issue. The fact that she lost the vote is what we should be looking for. But the president breaks. Sorry, I'm not. Ghana and culture does. We believe in the absolute opposite. Yeah, food, food, food. What a funny story for you. So, um, speaking of veganery, I do it every year. Um, and what? veganery, or veganery, as, as Apple doing for the month, which is what Jay-Z and Beyonce are saying. Um, go. My agent called me up and said, oh, are you still vegan? I said, oh, why? She said, well, we've had an offer come through, um, but it requires you to be vegan. Oh, I'm still vegan. Yeah. Yeah. I've been vegan for six months. <laughs> so, sort of three months into it, I'm still vegan. Anyway, they then start looking at my social media because I was supposed to start posting about this thing. And they're like, we've been looking at June's social media. We've seen her Christmas pictures. 
It doesn't seem she's even vegetarian. <laughs> <laughs> So needless to say, that ended. <laughs> um, no, I Did think you enjoy the vegan experience? I do, yeah, I love it. I think there's nothing wrong with it. It's healthy, it clears well, you up. Like she said, it shows discipline. You feel better, you have more energy, your skin improves as a result. I wouldn't do it all the time. And I think at the end of the day, it's about control with these things. No harm in it. Do you feel good doing it? I feel great.